While briefing the newsmen, the Executive Secretary, Nigerian Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative, Zainab Hamid, explained that the nation has lost about 4.3 billion naira in the solid mineral sector. She lamented on the challenges facing the initiative as regards its limitation to producing credible and independent reports due to limited funds, which has been reduced by 50% coupled with no budgetary provision in 2012 for the extractive. It has reached out to the current 7th National Assembly, and I'm glad to say that the National Assembly has been very responsive to overtures from Naiti, and they have shown significant interest in the implementation of EITI in Nigeria. They have shown concern that the reforms in the oil and gas sector have been lacking because there has not been sufficient uh, use by government as well as by the whole of the industry of the NIT audit reports. They have made commitments to us to strongly support the implementation. They have co made commitments to us that they will use the NIT audit findings to push the realization of the immediate issues from the NIT audit reports. In his speech, the chairman of the National Stakeholder Working Group, Ledun Miti, explained that the completion of the report has been helpful in the areas of planning and development, coupled with discovery of discrepancy in government payment revenue from the solid mineral sector by some companies. We think that perhaps it is also important to underline the fact also that many of our neighbors are now team players in the oil league. So if you go to Ghana, if you go to any of the countries, you see that they are now in the oil league. So that calls for our thinking in some other directions, especially, and we think the solid mineral provides that sector that will be key to unleashing the, the areas where we can benefit uh, for our economic sustainability. However, if the finding of the report is not rectified, it will affect the accuracy of the solid mineral report next year. From Abuja, I am Kikelomo Adiola Ukiri, OGTV News.